Montreal, Alberta. It's Maureen McKenzie from the city of Lacombe and I am here with someone I consider to be a, a good friend now and someone who's coming to Lacombe November 10th uh, for a concert. I'd like you to meet Adrian Nation. Hi. <laughs> I don't know to look at you on the camera. Ah, that's alright. We can look either way. Adrian, it is wonderful to have you back in Alberta. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, we, uh, when I heard you were coming back after seeing you in concert last year, yeah. it was a slam dunk that yes, we had to have you play in Lacombe. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, Adrian's music is fantastic. Rather than me telling people what your music is like, how about if you tell the audience? Well, I've been trying to answer that question for a long time and I still haven't come up with a, with a decent answer really. Um, I write all my own music and it's, it's very much based in, uh, in the real world I guess. You know, I'm, I'm not one of the guys who can pull a story up from imagination and, and make a song of that. And, uh, I admire the guys who can do that but it's just not my thing. And uh, so I write about um, places I've been, experiences I've been through. But my musical tastes have always been Canadian, that's why I've always wanted to Canada has always been my dream to, to play. Um, when I was 16, somebody gave me a, a cassette of Bruce Coburn. Mm -hmm. that, that was it? That was that. Uh, I was just blown away by that. And it's that kind of that kind of angle I've always tried to, to take, you know, that kind of really lyrical and meaningful songwriting, hopefully. Very meaningful. I know when I saw you in concert last year, yeah. I was in tears twice. Right. You know, th right. that's how touching Adrian's music is. It can be very uplifting, it can be very heartfelt. Yeah. Just absolutely tremendous yeah. lyricist you are. The first uh, first show of the tour was last night and uh, there was a couple of posts on Facebook this morning about some tears. Yes. And, uh, and some and some laughter. So I, I guess it's because because I write about things that affect me, mm -hmm. we're, we're all the same really. Yeah. You know, so if it affects me, it will affect other people. When I write a song, if, if it's not really doing anything to me inside when I'm playing it, then it just it doesn't go anywhere. Right. But if, if I start writing something and singing something, and I get to the end of it and I want to sing it again, then that, that's kind of a, the kind of litmus test for it, really. Excellent. Then I'll keep working on it, and you kind of know when you're onto something. And it's all about it. it's all about an emotion, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's tears or or laughter, or anger, or, mm -hmm. or anything really. It's not, as long as music evokes something, I think it's right. doing the job. It's, it's and creates those memories for us all too. I yeah. Think. yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, this and the great thing about music is certainly from a songwriter's point of view is each song has so many memories attached to it. So the memory of where you were when the thing happened that inspired you to write the song, mm -hmm. and then where you were when you actually the actual creative process took place and then if it's a song that's been recorded I've got this new album and, and that those weeks I spent recording the album were so creative and special and so I have all the memories that when I listen to the album I hear yeah that was happening there and he said that when we finished that take you know uh -huh. things like that yeah and then you have all these memories of the people you meet when you're singing them sure you know the places you go so it's just I don't know what else there is in life that that can bring so much from yeah. one one night. That's very true. That's one of the special things about arts and culture. Absolutely. Is it's it's always typically from the heart or has has a spe specific or a good meaning to it. So that's, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. Now you mentioned you have a new CD or an yeah. album out. Yeah. Tell our audience about it. Well, um, it's an album called Anarchy and Love. Um, which is uh, one of the songs, it, it's, the title's taken from a, one of the songs. And uh, it's, it's got a real, um, there's a real Canadian edge to this album as well. Right. There's a real Canadian link because I'm, I made it into Canada through Andy Donnelly at the mm -hmm. uh, CKUA on the, on the prompting of Stephen Fear and I sent my, sent my CDs to Andy and, and he loved them and, and began playing them, and, and that was what led to the first tour. I can't really overstate the the impact coming to Canada the first time had on on me as an artist and as a songwriter, and and specifically the, the, the things that happened with Scotland as well. There's a real mm -hmm. Scottish Canadian connection, and so the album there are songs that I wrote in Canada, there are songs that I wrote in Scotland. 
and they're also I've also got a Run Rig cover, which is a song Rocket to the Moon, which is about the Scots coming and, and pioneering okay. the Canadian landscape. Okay. So um, this this I've had the I've had the album pressed in Edmonton. Good. I, I, want, I wanted to keep you know keep it local mm -hmm. whilst I was here. Uh, so we had the artwork tweaked a little bit, so there's a maple leaf on the spine. Oh, lovely! And, uh, <laughs> because because Canada uh, means so much to me already. It's my third third time here, and uh, they're going to have to you're going to have to do something pretty strong to keep me away. We are really looking forward to having you in the home. No, I'm really looking forward to coming. Yeah, yeah. We'll be at the United Church. Um, tickets are on sale now. You can pick them up at Lacombe City Hall or at the main gallery and framing studio, which is just uh, by the Lacombe Centre Mall. They're $20 for the concert only, or we also have some kind of special VIP tickets so that you can meet Adrian. We'll be having uh, some special desserts, reserved seating for you. And Adrian has been kind enough to sign a guitar for us for our yeah. silent auction. As I mentioned, it is a fundraiser for the Lacombe Arts Endowment Fund. We'll have some other special items there, and Adrian, you will have your your CD there for sale. I will. Yeah. I'll, I'll be picking mine up tonight. I'm here. Yeah. We're here in Ennisvale for uh, Adrian's second concert on this tour, so I'm looking forward to tonight very much. So. Yeah, so am I. Excellent. Oh, it's, just, it's a great, it's a great tour. It's already starting to unfold really nicely. Good. Excellent. Well, thank you, Adrian. Bye. All right.